Sometimes it's just all about the heat. The perfect smokiness, the minimal ingredients, this chicken and cashew is the best you'll ever taste. Hey guys, I'm Jeremy. Welcome back to Wok Wednesdays. As you know, we're on tour at the moment. And whilst we're on tour, I thought, what better time to work on the new wok burner? I'm going to cook a chicken and cashew stir fry on this high heat. Classic chicken and cashew. Always starts with a bit of onion. I don't like to overload the dish with onion. You know, I'm not cooking in a restaurant, I'm cooking at home. Let's get that balance right. Don't mind the noise. We are on the London flight path, so I can dream about going on holiday. Right, we're going to set the wok clock up as we go. And if you're new to School of Wok, the wok clock is a round plate. We didn't invent the round plate, but we invented the wok clock, and that is we start at 12 o'clock with your first ingredient, and you go all the way around. So it's nice and organised because when I get to this guy, this wok burner, it's going to be fast stir frying. Some garlic. And this just has to be roughly chopped. I'm going to take a little bit of that for the base of my marinade and then the rest to go just after my onion on my wok clock. Carrot. This slices of carrot will do. Similar sort of angle for some celery. Carrot and celery just works perfectly together. And then my green pepper. Probably only need half of that. Similar sort of chunks to the onion. I've got my chicken bone in with skin on. I'm going to take it off the bone but keep the skin on. Actually in traditional sort of Chinese like households, if you've got the bone in, you might chop straight through the bone and have it in sort of chunks. But when I cook at home, I don't. I kind of use the bones for stock, keep the rest for my stir fries quite a lot. I'm going for quite chunky dices or cubes, let's say, of chicken with the skin on, as I said, because I want to get that skin nice and crispy before I finish off my stir fry. So my wok clock of veg is set and ready and then it's just a marinade and a sauce that goes on top. Really, really simple, classic Cantonese cooking this. Light soy sauce, I'm gonna save the rest for my sauce. A bit of Shaoxing rice wine, sesame oil. Pinch of sugar, I've got some brown sugar here, any sugar will do. And then a small amount of corn starch or corn flour here in the UK. Give that a good massage through, get all that flavour in there. Should have this nice sort of creamy marinade texture around each piece of chicken. And cashews, they'll toast up quickly on this wok burner. So my wok clock is ready, my chicken's marinated, all I've got to do is wok. Did I say all I've got to goo? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cook my chicken first before I then come back into my wok clock because I want to get a good sear on that chicken skin and I don't want anything else interfering with that sort of crisping up of that edge of the chicken. You know, when it's so quick like this, you want to be prepared, which is why the wok clock's really important. Smoking hot. Whoa, lovely sound. Try and get those sort of bits of skin face down in the wok and that oil. And notice even at this point on such a high heat, I'm not sort of moving my chicken around too much right now. I want it to get that initial sear, crisp up well, turn it, sear the other side before I start sort of maneuvering that heat. It's the same as any other type of cooking, just, I know it's much quicker, almost like a professional sort of 
wok burner. The beauty of this is you see how quickly that sort of crisps around the edge of the chicken. And it doesn't stick at all. I'm just folding that round now and just making sure that every side of the chicken gets nicely sort of sealed with all the moisture inside. I'm going to turn that down a little so I don't waste the gas. And then all this is going to go straight over my spider or my little bamboo nest there. Take a little bit of that fat back. To finish the stir fry off but you can see how quick that was and how smoking hot the wok was and how steaming hot the chicken then stays you get real wok hay out of stuff like this or a, a burner like this smoking hot again that oil needs to be really nice and hot but not too much grease now because obviously the chicken itself has got a fair bit of that oil onions in quick tummy in the head and a flick through because I don't want any burn just want flavour from that smoky wok. Garlic. Again, nice and quick. Carrots. And everything's coming in pretty quickly now. If you feel like you want your carrots to cook a bit quicker and you've got some stock around, just a little bit of stock of water will help steam that very quickly. You can see how quickly I'm cooking this through but if you feel like you need to turn the heat down a little that's fine. The idea is understanding that height of the fire and how to manoeuvre that heat whether up and round or side to side to cool your wok down makes a big difference. I want my carrot to keep a little crunch so the next vegetable can go in and that is my celery. Peppers in. As I said, the wok clock gives me that order of sort of harder veg first and then just moving to the softer veg so that why by the end of my stir fry, everything has a nice texture. It's got a bite still, not too soft. I'm going to start to toast my cashews now, just at the base of the wok. Bring that veg over the top of the cashews. Give that a quick fold through and then when my chicken comes in we're going to start to add in all the liquid and the stir fry sauces so chicken back in oh this is looking substantial look at that Woo! now we're walking oyster sauce mixed with a bit of light soy nice light flavor from these sauces nothing too crazy a little splash of dark soy for color I like to flick that round on the, when I'm cooking on such high heat like this to get that sort of caramelization of the oyster sauce around the chicken before I then put any sort of thinner liquid like my chicken stock into the stir fry. Smoking hot wok and then your stock can go in. Oh, that smells and sounds amazing and that is instantly bubbling up. Gosh, it's got to be one of the best stir fries I've cooked. Now, of course, you don't need a wok burner like this to be able to cook it. It's just fun and also makes a great stir fry. But at home, just follow the same principles. High heat, maneuver your heat the right way and learn that height of your fire. Look at that. Super fast wok cooking. My wok burner stir fried chicken and cashew. When you've got high heat like that, it does make a difference to your stir fries. With barely any sort of high impact ingredients in the marinade or the base, but there's so much flavor just from the way that it's being cooked. Hey, something new, something fun for me to play with. If you ever get your hands on to one of these, I'd highly recommend it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ding, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you soon for more walking.